This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Delighted to be joined by Bang Bang himself, Mr. Nick Blackwell. How are you, mate? I'm all good, thanks, but all good. All good. See the, the painting in the background? Who did that <laughs> one? I knew you know was that. <laughs> Who did that one? Um, I, Ross Baines, I think. It's a great picture. Yeah, it is. Um, yeah, a lot happening uh, in boxing at the moment. Obviously, we're in the middle of a Joshua Usyk fight week, uh, so we can mm. really kind of start there. Um, are you uh, concerned for Anthony Joshua going into this fight with Usyk? It's a tough fight for Anthony Joshua. It's a real tough fight, but they, Anthony Joshua is the best, one of the best boxers. He's got power. He's got foot movement. He's got speed. Um, but yeah, and usyk has got he's got a lot of power and he's Ukrainian, isn't he? Ukrainian, yeah, yeah and Ukrainian stuff. I thought Ukrainian and they're tough. So it's it's gonna be a real good fight. I'm watching it, I'm gonna tune in, I'm watching it, it's gonna be a great fight. <laughs> the two fights that um Alexander Usyk has had at heavyweight against Witherspoon and Chizora, um did you mm. did you watch any of them fights, Nick? Can we take anything from those as his fights? No, I didn't fight? I didn't actually watch him. I didn't actually watch him. How did he get on? Well, he, he won both of them, but obviously Derek Chisora believes that he won the fight, the last fight he had, uh, and at heavyweight as well. So mm. uh, it's interesting because he's known as a cruiserweight. So uh, yeah, we'll yeah he is. Be a factor. We'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to watch that. Great fight. Definitely. Um, I'm sure you would have seen the, the antics from Canelo's press conference with uh, oh, I know. Caleb Plant. I know. And he did a fight in the ring. <laughs> what, what did you make of it all? Because it was a lot. There was a lot going on. There was. I know. I watched a little bit of it where he started pushing him, and that's all I watched. But yeah, they need to uh, get in the ring and do the business in the ring. Yeah, I think so. I think. Uh, yeah. It was it's gonna uh, be a great fight there. Absolutely, and a chance for Canelo to become uh, undisputed, and also obviously Caleb Plant to become undisputed at the weight. Yeah. What what fights? Are you looking forward to coming up, Nick? What fights do you want made at the moment as a fan? Oh, Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury is one I, everyone wants to see. If Anthony Joshua wins tomorrow, then hopefully he may fight with Tyson Fury. There's been a lot of said and things that were said and been done that hasn't actually happened, but hopefully, and Anthony Joshua, if he wins, and Tyson Fury is wilder, then it'll both it'll happen then. Yeah, I mean, we were so close to having the fight. We, you know, we all believed that the fight was going to be happening in, I know. in August. And uh, yeah, it's boxing, though. It's boxing. Oh, yeah, it is boxing. Happen. Anything can happen in boxing. Nick, do you expect Fury to beat Wilder again? Um, yeah, I do. I think Wilder. He's good for three or four rounds. He's one of the hardest hitting, punch, the hardest heavy punches ever. But um, he's got a glass jaw and he's got little chicken legs. <laughs> And then Tyson, Tyson Fury hits harder than what everyone thinks, thinks he makes out he does. He is really hard, Tyson Fury. For, and Tyson Fury, I can't believe he got up from that knockdown. Everyone thought he was out, and he got up. Yeah. I, I remember being at the Wayne, Nick, for his comeback fight against Seth and Seth Rui, and you were there in, in Manchester. But from there to kind of where, I know Tyson hasn't fought since obviously that last Wilder fight but that's due to obviously the fight being postponed with Wilder and the Joshua fight mm. but from where he was there to where oh he oh my god now, he's got over depression he's, how much weight has he lost yeah a few how much, yeah he lost a lot of stone a lot he lost more than what I've lost <laughs> yeah he's done amazing he's overcome everything and now he, he that's what boxing does to people it helps you put it in the right mindset it puts you on track, makes you lose weight, like Tyson Fury's lost a lot of weight, um, and gives some to focus on. And that's what Tyson Fury's done. Do you re remember what he said to you back then, about three years ago, when you spoke to him? Three years ago? I can't remember what he said to me now. What did he say? If you I, remind, I, can't I, remember. Remember. I was standing there, but I know he, he, was, he, he was talking to you, but I can't remember. I mean, it was a while ago now, so I don't remember what I did yesterday, let alone... Oh, I, think, I think he said... I remember actually what he said, you got a bigger chair than what I got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh, good. yeah, lots going to happen in the, in the next three weeks. And then I think after that, as long as Joshua and, and Fury come through their fights, then there's no reason why we can't see No, it's got to happen. 
biggest fight of boxing history, that is. Mm, absolutely. Any other fights that you want to see? You're interested in Brook and Khan still, Nick? Uh, Brook and Khan, um, that's another good fight. But, um, yeah, it's a great fight. The fight I want to see happen is my mate Liam Williams against Eubank Jr. That's the fight I want to see happen. What happens in that fight if that goes down? Oh, it's a great fight. That's an amazing fight. Um, Eubank's tough. Um, he's got good hands, but Liam Williams is... is he is a machine. He is a machine. He is. And um, I think Liam Williams will win. Um, obviously, uh, there's been a little bit of back and forth between, uh, well, t- two of your old rivals in, in Newbank and, and Billy Joe Saunders as well. Do I know? <laughs> have you seen any of that going on? Oh, I know. Yeah, I have. Yeah, I was laughing. Um, yeah, Eubank's fighting some Ukrainian who's ranked someone, but... I knew, I knew Eubank would fight anyone that amazing because um, he hadn't had a fight for a while. So it's good to get the rounds in. But um, yeah, I knew he'd fight uh, nobody. <laughs> so just coming back to yourself, uh, what you been doing day to day, Nick? And um, been living family life now, um, walking the dogs, eating healthy. Um, I, um, I do whatever work I can. I struggle with a lot of it, but um, I do whatever I can. Um, I got on the uh, before COVID. I went down to the amateur boxing gym, Trevor Jams boxing gym, and giving the kids my expertise, which I love doing. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, is that the same place that I came to all those years ago, or have you moved from there? Trowbridge Boxing Academy. Um, no, no, where you are now, your place now. I came to your place a few years ago, don't I? But I can't remember if it's the same place you live in now. No, it's a different one. It's a different one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's great, great boxing gym. Great coach as well, and uh, they're getting all the champs. They've got so many champs down there. It's amazing. Good. Yeah. Good, good. good. Um, Callum Smith is a real good fighter as well. He's got his pro fight coming up soon as well, his first pro fight. Okay. And he's with Gary Lockett, who I used to train with. And Callum Smith held my British title, and I said, you'll be a British champ one day, and he will be a British champ. Wow. Yeah, he's amazing. Well, if he's under the guidance of Gary Lockett, then he can't... Yeah, he go, 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 go fire. Gary Lockett is amazing. Great coach, great guy. Absolutely, absolutely. Mm. Um, right, well, Nick, listen, thanks for giving us a little bit of time. Have you got anything else you'd like to add before we finish? Um, not a lot, no. <laughs> anything spring to mind? It's always a, a, like a question people go, um, no, I don't think so. No, 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 he's a... <laughs> Uh, well, listen, hopefully we'll catch up with you again um, in a few weeks and we'll kind of get a, a reflection maybe on uh, what's yeah. happening in the next three weeks because in the heavyweight scene, oh, no. three weeks is very important. So, In heavyweight boxing, it only takes one punch and anything can happen and it can. Very true, very true. Yeah. Okay, Nick, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV and giving us your time. Uh, it's been long overdue. Yeah, uh, we'll catch up good with you again. Good to see you again, too. <laughs> Oh, social. Oh, scoop. Socials. My social media. Like your socials. Tell people your socials. Yeah. Twitter. <laughs> Nick Blackwell at O2. Um, o- Nick Blackwell O2. Try and get my followers up. Give and me Instagram. Well, well, Nick. Bang, bang, Blackwell. Nick, bang, bang, Blackwell at uh, Instagram. Okay, okay. You got Get a- following people. You got to see what I'm doing yet. my... Daily life. Have you got on TikTok yet? No, not TikTok, no. <laughs> I bet you love TikTok. <laughs> oh, we got an IFL one we just started, so, you know. I'll be all fair, okay. But, uh, yeah, everyone, make sure you get following Nick Blackwell on social media, Twitter, very active on Twitter, and also Instagram. And you've got T-shirts as well. You've got no, you got T-shirts, yeah. got T-shirts, yeah. Um, bang, bang. There we go. And bang, bang, T-shirts. Yeah, they went really well, actually. A lot of my fans and supporters have bought them, so I appreciate you buying them. Great, great, great. Um, all right. I'm in contact with a lot of the boxers as well, still. A lot of the boxers, I'm in contact with them. Peter Fury, um, Billy Joe Saunders, Liam Williams. Yeah, so it was good. Peter Fury, we're going to hopefully go up to his gym in Sheffield and see all his boxers and see Peter, which would be good. 
Peter's the boxing is just like a big family, isn't it? Of course it's, it is, absolutely. Yeah, I love it. It's good to hear that you still keep in touch with a lot of people. Yeah, I am, which is good. And they've they contacted me as well, which means a lot. I'm not forgotten, which is good. You're absolutely not forgotten, my friend. Yeah. Okay, Nick, thank you very much for talking to uh, IFL TV. And uh, listen, we'll give it a few weeks and we'll, we'll, we'll do another little pick-up piece. Yeah, nice one. Cheers, dude. Not a problem. Thank you very much, Nick. Cheers, buddy. Thank you for having me.